Hi, welcome. Our new normal for a while. We first wanted to say that we miss you all, right Anna? Yeah. But I have Anna here to help me with some PBT exercises that we're gonna show to you and you can follow along at home. Anna has a ball. If you don't have a ball at home, perfectly fine. All these exercises can be done. We're just holding the arms in at first, the legs flat on the ground. Or if you don't have one of those balls, you can always find a play ball that you have at home and that would work too. So we're gonna get started and work on some arms and upper body and then we'll move through the exercises. All right, so Anna is sitting in a butterfly position and she is going to take her, put her arms down on her legs, not onto her feet so that we don't get the sickled feet. And she's just going to do her flat back working on those abductor muscles and our hip flexors. And she's gonna go forward on one, two, three, four. Hold it there, five, six, seven, eight, and develop up, two, three, four, and hold it there, long spine, remember? And one more time, going forward, flat back, one, two, three, four. Hold it, six, seven, eight. Lifting from the spine, from the core, and up, hold, six, seven, eight. Good, now if you remember from this exercise, we're working on a flat back along with our core so that both those are working at the same time and together, not one muscle group trying to do all the work. Now, next, Anna's gonna grab her ball and she's going to, we're gonna develop up into a first position and then we're gonna do the same exercise, holding the arms in a first. Now, if you don't have a ball, it's okay, you can just hold the arms in a first and then do this exercise along with us. So she's going to develop out one, two, keeping those arms in a first, three, four, holding it there, six, seven, eight, and develop up, one, two, three, four, and she holds it, six, seven, eight, and again, out, two, three, four. She holds it there, six, seven, eight, and develop up, two, three, four, and holds it, six, seven, eight. For the next exercise, we'll hold this first position and now develop up into a fifth, I know, so develop up, one, two, three, four. Flat back, reaching out from those hip flexors, six, keeping the arms fifth, I know, seven, Eight, hold it there, two, three, four, and develop up, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, out, one, two, three, four. Hold, six, seven, eight, and develop up, two, three, four, and bring the arms down, first position, six, seven, hold, eight. Okay, so we just did those arm exercises to warm up and we're gonna move forward with some more arm exercises, but this time working on rotation of the upper body with it. So a couple things that we talk about in class that we want to remember. Number one, that the pelvis and the butt we need to stay flat on the ground when we rotate to the right and the left. So we don't wanna be pushing our weight side to side. We want that weight to be centered going through. Anna will be using the ball when her arms are in first or fifth. Again, if you don't have a ball, it's okay. Just do these exercises holding the arms in a first or fifth position. Okay, we will start. So Anna is going to grab the ball and put it down and develop it up. One, two, three, four. She's going to rotate to the right, open up five, six, seven, eight. Hold it there, two, three, four, and come back, five, six, seven, eight. And she can go down. So that will be the exercise that we do. And we're gonna do it from to the right, come back to the center, go to the left, come back to the center. Then we're going to do it with the arms developing up into a fifth position and do the same thing with a flat back. When we do these exercises, we also want to remember that we're not pulling the back and rotating too much, but that back is staying nice and flat and open and not twisting those muscles. Okay, so we will start the exercise 
and develop up. One, two, three, four. Rotate five, six, taking the focus with you. Seven, eight. She holds it. One, two, three, four. Coming back to the front. Six, seven, eight. Open left. One, two, three, four. Hold it. Six, seven, eight. Come back. Two, three, four. And arms develop up to fifth on o. Six, seven, eight. Rotate to the right. One, two, three, four. Hold it there. Six, seven, eight. Come back through. Two, three, four. Hold it. Six, seven, eight. To the left. One, two, three, four. Hold it. Six, seven, eight. And come back through. Two, three, four. And arms develop down the first. Six, seven, eight. Good. So the last couple of things to remember with this exercise is number one, make sure that you take your focus with you and that the chin stays up and that neck is nice and long. And also like we talked about just a couple of minutes ago, not twisting and rotating that back, but that back muscles along with the chest and the core and shoulders are staying open and nice and flat as you rotate through. Okay, we will move on to the next exercise. We're going to do the same thing with the arms, this time adding a flat back when we go to the right and when we go to the left. So Anna will start and develop the arms up to, up to first, two, three, four, and she rotates, five, six, seven, eight, flat back, one holding those arms in the first, two, three, four, and coming back up, five, six, and she rotates center, seven, eight, opposite side, one, two, three, four, flat back, five, six, seven, eight, develop up, two, three, four, and rotate, five, six, arms come up to fifth on those, seven, eight, and rotate, one, two, three, four, flat back, five, six, seven, eight, develop up, one, two, three, four, open back up, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, flat back, five, six, seven, eight, develop up, one, two, three, four, and rotate, five, six, and bring the arms down the first. Good, make sure that you're nice and lifted. We're lifting out of the back. Seven, hold, eight. Okay, as you can see, Anna has the ball on her legs, so we're going to move forward in the exercises, working on the legs now with the feet, along with the upper body, the back, and the arms. So the first thing that we have to remember when we're having the ball and we're sitting on it. Now, again, if you don't have a ball, completely fine. Just put your legs out in front of you like Anna does right now. So she takes the ball away. She's just going to have her legs together in a nice parallel position and her feet doing, and then you can follow these exercises. Or if you do have a ball, then you can follow the exercises with your legs on top of the ball, okay? So the first thing that we want to remember is how to sit when our legs are on the ball. That we don't want to be sitting through our lower back. We don't want the pelvis to be rotated underneath, the shoulders to be slumping. But again, we want the core to be activated, the back to be activated, the nice long spine. Our arms are out to this side, not supporting us. So your whole body is supported from the hips, the pelvis, the core, the back, all the way through. So shoulders pressing down and her weight is off of her arms through the fingertips. So we start in a parallel position and we're gonna work on some flexing and pointing in this next exercise. Ready, six, seven, eight. Flex the feet, one, two, hold, three, four, point, five, six, hold, seven, eight. Flex, one, two, three, four, point, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, one, two, three, four, point, six, 
seven and eight and one, two, three, four, point five, six, seven and eight. Now we will al alternate feet, starting with the right foot and then going to the left. So flex the right, one, two, and alternate three and four. Alternate five, six and a seven and eight and one, two and a three and four and a five, six and a seven and eight and point the left, one, two, hold three, four. Now a couple other things to remember with this exercise, and then moving along with the other exercises that we'll do with the ball is that the legs want to stay straight. They need to stay straight so that we're working on the hamstrings along with those bands by our knees, moving into the calf and the Achilles all the way through our foot to the armature and toes. Remember that the ball does not want to be resting on your feet on the armatures, otherwise you're gonna get squished and tight. So how Anna has her legs, the ball back and her Achilles are off of the ball so that she can roll through and flex it and not put pressure on those muscles. Okay, so we're going to move through now and do some feet exercises um, and adding porter rods to this and some flat backs. So Anna's going to kick the weight off of her arms and she's going to flex her feet. One, two, hold it, three, four. Porter rod the arms in the first, five, six, seven, and eight. She develops the arms to fit up. One, two, three, four, hold it there, six, seven, eight, flat back, one, two, keeping the arms in fit then, oh, three, four, hold it there, six, seven, eight, and develop up, two, three, four, port around the arms, five, six, and open them up, seven, hold, eight, again, up, one, arms, two, three, hold, four, up, five, six, seven, and eight, flat back, one, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, and eight, develop up, one, two, three, four, quarter bra, open, five, six, and seven, point the feet, eight, again, up, one, two, three, and four, arms up, five, six, hold, seven, and eight, flat back, one, two, three, and four, hold it, six, seven and eight, up one, two, lifting from the back and core, three, four, and quarter row, open five, six, and seven, last time, eight, up one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, flat back, one, two, three, and four, hold it, five, six, seven, and eight, develop up one, two, three, four, open five, six, and seven, and eight. Now, the last thing that I would like to remind you is that when those feet are flexed or pointed, and especially doing the flat back, you will feel it in your hamstrings, on those bands behind our knees that we wanna keep nice and straight, or going into the calf muscles. So reminding not to let those legs bend on you and pull back, but to lengthen. Also through that flat back, we're reaching out of our hip flexors and abductor muscles and out of the, keeping that pelvis nice and underneath and lifting from that lower part of the back. So the next exercise that we're going to move on to is going to be flexing the feet, but now rotating from our parallel to our turned out and then turn out back to parallel so that we're working those abductor muscles and getting them nice and stronger. So again, still sitting up nice and straight. The weight is off of the arms and you're through your core and your back when we're sitting out of the pelvis and the hips and we're lifting from that lower back just like Anna is here. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, you could do this exercise and hold your arms in a first position like Anna is right now. Or you could even develop it up into a fifth on O. Or you can just keep them down onto the ground. So whichever you feel comfortable doing with yourself. Okay, so we will start and flex. Rotate, one, two, three, 
four, open five, six, point seven, and eight. Open one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Open one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hold eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Good, so again, with this exercise, we're working on keeping that ball off of the Achilles. Remember those muscles are right here underneath, and also working on keeping those legs nice and straight, not getting tight though through the muscles, lengthening the muscles, so that they're stretching with you and developing. Okay, so we are going to do another exercise. This time we're just going to work on opening our rotation of our turnout from the adductor muscles and then coming back into parallel. So not a very hard exercise, but a good training exercise for those muscles. So Anna here is going to hold her arms in a first position while we do this. Again, though, if you wanna keep your arms down on the ground, put your weight off of the arms, you can do that in a first or a fifth on O, or even a second position, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So Anna will hold her arms in a first when we do this. And so we're gonna develop up one, two, three, four. She's just gonna rotate through to her turn up five, six, hold at seven, eight. And she's gonna develop the arms up to fifth on O, one, two, three, four, and four to bar the arms and bring the legs to parallel, five, six, hold, seven, and eight. Repeat up, one, two, turn up, three, four, hold at five, arms up, six, seven, and eight. Port around, one, two, down, three, and four, legs together, six, seven, hold, eight. Again, one, two, and turn up, three, and four, up, five, six, and seven, and eight. Open, two, three, four, five, six, last time, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Now, if you keep your arms on the ground, you don't have to do the port -a -rot. or if your arms are on the ground, you could come to a first on the port -a and open up. If you are in a first position, you could do a port -a to a second and come down and then start again. And if you're doing fifth on O, you could do the fifth on O to second and come down. Okay, we are moving forward. So we just worked on our parallel to turn out and back. Now, on this next exercise, we are going to work through our tur parallel, turn out, and then going into a plie position with the ball. Now, the first time that we do this exercise, Anna is going to show you how to do the exercise with the ball. The next time we do it, we'll take the ball away and she'll show you how to do it without the ball, okay? So we are going to, so again, the arms can be in any position that you feel comfortable with. Anna is gonna hold her arms in a second, but we'll start from the arms on the ground and then we'll do a nice porter bra to start. And she porter bras up, five, six, open seven, hold eight. Turn out one, two, hold it three, four, and plie coming back, bring the ball with you, open five, six, hold seven, eight. Develop out, one, two, three, four. She comes back to parallel, five, Six, hold, seven, eight. Repeat, turn out, one, two, hold, three, four. Plie, five, six, seven, and eight. Develop a one, two, three, four. Develop parallel, six, seven, and eight. Open, one, two, hold, three, four. Up, five, six, 
seven, and eight. Out one, two, three, four, parallel five, six, last one, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, develop a five, six, seven, and eight. Develop one, two, three, four, rotate in, six, seven, and eight. So that's the exercise with the ball. Couple things to think about and remember when you do that. Number one, as those legs start to come back into the plie, we don't want to push the weight back through the hips, the lower back, so that we get the sinkage. So if Anna can turn to the side for me, you will see. So right now, she's going to put her legs back up on the ball, and we're going to look at her, how she stayed up nice and straight, so that those shoulders are over the hips, and that weight is centered and pressing through that lower back. Now she'll use her turnout, and then she'll develop into the plie, and now watch how she stays lifted. So she reaches out of her lower back, she keeps that body alignment and opening and stretching from the back. Now she developed back up for us, she can show us what we don't want to have happen, where she rotates it, and then we push it back so that that weight drops back, and there's a sinkage and a dropping and then a curvature to the back, so that weight is all going down, and we want it to be lifting and developing up. So a couple pointers there with this exercise. Now we'll do the exercise without the ball for you, for those that don't have a ball at home. So same concept, will be maybe just a little bit harder as those legs come back into the plie, but you can lift it up off the ground a little bit and then bring it back towards you. So we will start and develop five, six, open seven, eight, rotate one, two, hold three, four, up five, six, seven, and eight, hold it one, two, three, four, develop a five, six, seven and eight. One, two, three and four. Up five, six, seven and eight. Out one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold seven and eight. Two more. One, two and three, four, five, six. Hold seven and eight. Develop a one, two, three, four, parallel, five, six, last one, seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, develop a one, two, three, four, and parallel, five, six, seven, and eight. So you can see Anna kind of got stuck a little bit, which is okay, we have a yoga mat here. So we'll try it once without the yoga mat to show you how it's a little bit smoother when you don't have something that's hindering those legs coming up. Okay, so we have parallel, and we're gonna open up one, two, hold three, four. So again, she's lifting out of that lower back, her spine is nice and long. We're not dropping that weight through the pelvis or the lower back. And she's lifted through rib cage in. So we're not arching out so that thoracic part, the middle part of our back, working through. And now she develops up. Now, the last thing that I want to say about this exercise is the maintaining of the turnout from those abductor muscles as you develop out. So she's in a nice turnout here. As we develop those legs out, we're rotating underneath the so Anna can do that nice and slow for us. And holding and maintaining that turnout. Then we will come back into the parallel position. So as you can see for this next exercise, you're going to be laying flat on your stomach and we're going to be working on the upper back. And what this exercise is called is the wing exercise. And hence it's working these muscles right through here on our shoulder blades to give them a nice stretch and opening them up and also a strengthening exercise. So Anna here has some blocks. If you don't have blocks at home, you could use books. You could use anything that is kind of soft or even hard that gives you a little bit of a height 
underneath each arm. And if you have nothing at home, you can still do this exercise with your arms just flat on the ground. So what this exercise is going to consist of is developing up one arm at a time and then lowering it down to the block. Now, this is a controlled exercise, so it's not a super fast exercise. It's a nice steady tempo. And you want to also remember when we do this exercise, a few pointers. Number one, we want the shoulders and the chest to stay flat on the ground and not rotate and lift up so that everything and we're working the core muscle group that we want to and not the twisting of the back. So we're gonna start the exercise and you have five, six, seven, eight. Develop the right arm up, one, two, three, four, and lengthen it out, five, six, and place it down, seven, control, eight. Left arm, one, two, three, four, and bring it down, five, six, seven, eight. Right arm up, one, two, three, four, and coming down, control, six, seven, eight, and up, one, two, three, four, and coming down, six, seven, eight. So we did it four times. You can do it more if you would like. And then you could see Anna stayed nice and flat on the ground. She wasn't rotating and lifting her shoulders up off the ground. So now I'll show you, we'll have Anna show you a couple times what you don't want to have happen. So when you do it this time, Anna, please lift up the shoulder on each side. So we can show not the way to do it. And right arm up, one, two. See how she's twisted and she's pulling up? So now we've twisted the muscles and they're not flat and lengthening out. And she comes down and she'll show you on the left side and she goes up and she pulls up. So this is what we don't want to have happen. And she develops down and through. Okay, we are moving forward and now we are going to work on our bridge position. So if you've taken a PBT class, you know that this is a core movement in PBT that works on the core, the back, and the rotation of the turnout in a parallel and also in a turned out position. So we're working those abductor muscles along with the hip flexors in both ways. Now, as you can see, if you're a junior or a younger, we've used the little balls before if you've taken class with me. If you're above that and you take class and older, we've used your big balls. Now, some of you may have them at home, some may not. So if you do have your ball at home, you can do these exercises with that. Otherwise, we're gonna show you a couple different variations with the little balls and then without if you don't have a ball. So when we do the bridge position, the first thing about it is that we want to stay nice and flat on the ground. So that also means that the belly button is pressing down into that lower back of the core. Now, when we do the bridge position, it's lifting the pelvis and the upper body a little bit up off of the ground so that it's working all those muscles that lead from the pelvis up to the back and the core. I think for this exercise, we'll have Anna turn the direction and then we can we can see that position of the lower back a little bit more. While she takes that, there's a couple of things to remember with this exercise. Number one, we don't want to arch the back. So we don't want that lower back or even the upper back to be arching out and sticking the rib cage out. The other thing that when we do these exercises, when we're laying down flat, is that the arms should be down by your side and we want the palms to be up. Why do we want the palms to be up? Because if we push the palms down to the ground, you're using more of your arm strength to push and resist against than having your palms up and using your core, your back, your hand strength, all of those core muscles that we want to be using and getting stronger and getting, lengthening them out. So now we're going to move into the bridge position exercise. Again, first we'll do it with the ball, then we'll do it without the ball to show you a couple different variations of it. So we're going to start six, seven, eight, and you develop up, one, two, three, four. Hold it there, six, seven, eight. Keep holding 
two, three, four, come down, five, six, nice and flat, belly button pressing down, seven, hold, eight. You are still in a parallel position with the legs. Develop up, one, two, three, four, hold it, six, seven, eight, hold it, two, three, four, come down, nice and controlled, pressing, six, seven, eight. Two more times, up, one, two, three, four, hold it, six, seven, eight, hold it, two, three, four, coming down, five, lengthen the legs out, hamstrings, seven, hold, eight, last one up, one, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, eight, hold it, one, two, three, four, coming down, five, six, lengthen in the legs so that they don't bend on us, seven, eight, okay? So if all of that exercise was in a parallel position, now we'll rotate to our turn up and do the same thing in a turned out position. And you can notice again, Anna still has her palms up, so she's not pressing down into the ground. And we're gonna develop up, one, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, eight, hold, two, three, four, coming down, five, lengthen the legs, seven and eight. Up one, two, three, four, hold it five, six, seven, eight, hold it one, two, three, four, coming down five, six, two more, seven and eight, one, two, three, four, hold six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, coming down five, six, last one, seven and eight, up one, two, three, four, hold it five, six, seven, eight, hold it one, two, three, four, develop down, lengthen the leg, six, seven, and eight. So again, in this one, we kept and we maintained the turned out position, not letting those legs go into the parallel and then opening back up, but rotating, stretching from those hamstrings and going through. The last thing to remember that we want to talk about is breathing through these exercises. And we know how important that has to be, number one, so that we don't turn blue and pass out. But number two, breathing through these exercises teaches your body how to breathe while you're dancing. So as Anna develops up into the bridge position, we want her to breathe in and hold it two, three, four. Now she'll breathe out. Five, six, seven, eight. She'll come back up to the bridge and breathe in. One, two, three, four, and she'll breathe out. And when she comes down, six, seven, eight. So on that, we were just coming up and coming down and breathing through. If we're holding that bridge position like we did earlier in the exercises, you would want to breathe in and breathe out. Now, remembering that they are controlled breathing, not short breaths, but one, two, breathe out three, four, so that it goes along with the exercises and the holding that we're doing. Now, Anna will take the ball away and we'll show you how to do the bridge position without the ball. So, essentially, it's the same thing. So you don't need a ball to do it. We're going to use it. So if you are a younger dancer, this would be really good for you to not have a ball and to do this and start to build those core along with your back muscles up. Some of the petites and juniors have done these exercises so they could do it with the ball. Olders, older kids that have been taking the PBT classes, using the ball would be very beneficial. Or if you don't have one, again, you can do this flat. So we'll show you in the parallel position. Know that I want you to do this parallel and also turned out. So again, palms are up, legs are straight. Remember when you start this exercise, it starts from the pelvis and moves up. So we don't start from the back or the core because that's going to arch the down. We lift from the hamstrings, develop up through the pelvis to the core in the back. And six, seven, eight, she develops up. One, two, three, 
four, hold it there, six, seven, eight. Breathing, one, two, three, four. Breathing out as you go down, five, six, hold, seven, eight. And up, one, two, three, four. Breathing out, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing in, one, two, three, four. And breathing out, five, six, two more, seven, eight. And up, one, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Coming down, breathing out, six, seven, eight. Last one, one, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it, one, two, three, four. Breathing out, six, seven, and eight. So as you can see, Anna is still laying flat on her back with her legs out and the ball underneath. So we're going to move on to a few exercises that are going to work the hamstring and then move to a couple exercises that will work our extension along with our core and then our hip flexors and abductor muscles. So the first exercise that we're going to do is we're all we're going to do is flex the feet. So Anna will go up five, six, seven, eight, and she's gonna bend the knees back at one, two, keeping in a parallel position, three, four, hold it there, five, six, seven, eight, develop out one, two, three, four, point the feet, six, seven, eight. So we're going to do that a total of four times. Now, if you're younger and you do this exercise, we can stay flat on the ground. If you are older and you've done some of these exercises, say you're a junior on up, maybe not the junior intensives, but juniors to preteens, teens, you could do this in the bridge position. Also moving forward, if you're younger, staying flat for the extensions. Older, you could do this also in the bridge position, okay? Couple of things to remember on this exercise is that if you're going to stay flat on the ground, we want that belly button to press down into the lower back so that the back is not arching as we do this. We wanna be nice and flat. Again, the arms are going to stay with the palms up so that we're not pressing against the ground. And also this is in a parallel position. So we want to keep those legs in a nice clean position not letting them open up on us or rotating into a turned out position. Okay, so we will start and we have the flex of the feet, five, six, that's your prep, seven, eight, and pull it back, one, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, eight, brush out, one, two, three, four, point, five, six, seven, hold, eight, flex, one, two, three, four, pull in, five, six, seven, eight, hold, two, three, four, out, five, six, seven, and eight, flex, one, two, three, four, pull in, five, six, seven, and eight, hold it, one, two, three, four, out, five, six, last one, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, hold it, one, two, three, four, develop out, five, six, seven, point the feet, eight, good, so as you could see again, Anna stayed in the parallel position. Her back stayed nice and flat on the ground. If you're staying flat, there wasn't an arching of the rib cage or moving of the pelvis side to side with the weight, staying centered. Now, if you don't have a ball for this exercise, you can still do this exercise. So now we'll show you how to do it without a ball. Remember though, the core of this exercise is a hamstring exercise, also a hip flexor, and a core exercise. So we want to be engaging those hamstrings and then Anna can show us where the hamstrings are, are the muscles that are underneath, right here along the back of her thighs. So we're not using the top 
top of our thighs, but the hamstrings going up through. So now we don't have a ball for this exercise. We can still flex the feet. One, two, three, four, do a little bit of five, six, seven, eight, hold it there, two, three, four, and develop out five, six, point the feet, seven, eight, and then you could repeat it three more times. Now, we're going to move into a couple exercises to work on our extension and also work on our turnout with our parallel position. So Anna will grab the ball again and we'll move on to that. So we're going to start and we're gonna start in a parallel position and then your prep will be to rotate and open up to the turnout on the five, six, seven, eight. Again, the palms are staying up. We're going to stay flat for this exercise when we show it, but if you want to go into the bridge position, that is, you can certainly do that. Anna's gonna develop her right leg up one, two to a 90 degrees, three, four. She's gonna hold it there, six, seven, Eight. Now you can see how her pelvis is staying flat on the ground. She's not rotating side to side with her weight. Her core is engaged and her back is nice and flat. And we're going to bring it down. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we will alternate to the left leg up. One, two, three, four. Hold it there. Six, seven, eight. Bring it down. One, two, three, four, and hold it, six, seven, eight. Now, with this exercise, we're going to alternate the legs and go right, left, right, left. When we do this exercise, again, we're rotating and keeping the turned out position through the whole exercise, especially as you develop the leg up to the 90 and you develop it back down. When that leg comes down and it develops down, we don't want the pelvis to arch off the floor. We don't want the lower back to arch off the floor. We want everything to be pressing down. As you can see, Anna is right now with her core flat and her pelvis flat on the ground. We will do that four times. After that, we're going to work into a, another part of the exercise where you develop the right leg up to so the 90 degrees again. Stay in parallel position, one, two, three, four. Rotate to your parallel, five, six, seven, eight. Back to turn out, one, two, three, four, and come down, five, six, seven, eight. And we're also going to alternate legs, right, left, right, left. And then we'll also do that four times. Now, again, Anna's showing with a ball. If you don't have a ball, that's perfectly fine. And you can do this with your legs flat on the ground and follow along with this exercise. And we will start. So she open, start in the parallel and open up, turn out five, six, seven, eight. Right leg up. One, two, three, four. Hold it five, six, seven, eight. Coming down, control it. Two, three, four, and hold it six, seven, eight. Up one, two, three, four. Hold it five, six, seven, eight, coming down, two, three, four, hold your position, six, seven, breathe, eight, up, one, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, eight, keeping the rotation underneath, two, three, four, hold it there, six, breathe, seven, and eight, last time, one, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, eight, coming down, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, and eight. Now with the turn out to parallel, up right leg, one, two, three, hold, four, parallel, five, six, hold, seven, eight, turn out, one, two, three, four, develop down five, six, seven, and eight, left leg, one, two, three, four, parallel, six, seven, and eight, turn up one, two, three, four, coming down five, six, hold, seven, eight, right leg, one, two, 
three, four, and parallel, six, seven, eight. Turn out, two, three, four, coming down five, six, seven, eight. Last time, one, two, three, four, parallel, six, seven, eight. Turn out, one, two, hold, three, four, coming down five, six, seven, eight. And the exercise finishes. Now a couple of pointers. When we do this exercise, we want to maintain the supporting leg so that it's not moving around on the ball as the active leg is doing the extension work. So maintaining the pelvis and the weight along with the maintaining that supporting leg of using the hamstring and stretching and developing underneath you. Also, lastly, remember it's also a core exercise to use your extension. So pressing that belly button down, a nice core lifted and working with you along with that back as we do these core exercises along with extensions. Okay, and it's still laying flat on the ground, but we're moving and we're going to move on to work on a passe exercise. So you can see that Anna has the ball in between her legs with her right leg on top and the left leg on the bottom. If you have a ball again, this is how you would start this, ex this exercise. If you don't have a ball, you would just be in a susu position with your right leg in front. So if Anna takes the ball away, we can see that her legs just go into a susu and then she's going to develop up to a passe up in one, two, three, four, Hold it there, six, seven, eight. Hold it, two, three, four, and come back down to the susu, six, seven, eight. But we're going to do this exercise with the ball in between our legs. If you don't follow along, just do the susu position. We're gonna do it four times on the right, and then we're gonna switch legs and do it four times on the left. A few pointers with this exercise is to remember again that it comes all the way up into that nice, high passe position so that it's not staying down too far. Also, we're engaging the hamstring to develop that leg up and to develop it down. The pelvis needs to stay flat on the ground so that we're not rotating our weight and shifting it back and forth and so that those hips are lifting up or moving around on us. And just like before, when we do some exercises, we want that supporting leg, which is the left leg right now on Anna, we want that to stay nice and stable for us. Remember, lastly, that when we do the ball and we use it on these exercises, that we shouldn't be pushing the weight into the ball. It's just an extension of our leg. So what does that mean? That means that our muscles are holding the leg up in the position. The ball's just there to tell us if our weight is moving around or maybe we're not using our muscles in the way that we should be. So say Anna did the passe here, one, two, three, four, and her leg is kind of bouncing around that right leg and that ball kind of pops up and it goes away. Yeah, so she didn't have probably those hamstrings there strong enough that we could and the weight staying centered and going through. So we'll let Anna grab the ball and then we'll do this exercise. So a few pointers to remember when we do this exercise. And we will start with the right move to the left. Again, lastly, remember palms are still staying up and arms are down by the side. And we'll develop up one, two, three, four. Hold the passe, six, seven, eight. Hold it, one, two, three, four. Develop underneath, keeping the rotation of the turnout, six, seven, Eight. Again, one, two, three, four. Hold it, six, seven, eight. Hold it, two, three, four. Develop a five, six. Lengthen the hamstring control, seven, hold, eight. One, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it, two, three, four. Develop a five. Six, seven, and eight. Last time on the right. One, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Develop a one, two, three, four. And
and we'll switch the legs to the left. Five, six, hold, seven, and eight. Left, one, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Develop it out, two, three, four, and hold it, six, seven, eight. Up, one, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it, one, two, three, four. Develop out, five, six, seven, two more, eight. And up, one, two. Watch the hip placement, three, four. Stay nice and flat, six, seven, eight. Breathing in, two, three, four. Breathing out, six, seven, and eight. Last one, one, two, three, and four. Hold it, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it, one, two, three, four. Develop it out, five, six, seven, eight. Good, so again, on this exercise, we're working on maintaining and rotating the turnout. One thing that I do want to say that I missed earlier is that we don't want the foot to sickle as we do the passe. So again, why we don't want to push the weight on that active leg into the ball. We want that ankle and that armature to be nice and supported and stretching and not dropping down into the ball. So Anna develops up here. See how that ankle is nice and stretched up. If she was sickling, it would be coming down and pressing down and collapsing underneath her. So we want to be pushing up through for a nice supported foot. No sickling allowed. So for the next couple exercises that we're going to do, we are going to work on a, some deep core activation exercises, everyone's favorite in PBT class. So I have two exercises for this video. We are going to work on straight, just developing the legs up into a 90 degrees and then bringing them back down. And then we're gonna work with one with going up and bending the knees, developing, coming back to bending the knees and developing it out. So I'll talk you through the exercises and then we'll do them all together. So you will start with the ball in between your legs in a parallel position. So we're going to do this and then you, we can, we'll move into a turned out position. So it's up to you if you want to do it turned out, if you want to do it parallel, either way is fine or if you want to do it all either way. So whichever one. And it's going to do it parallel. So the legs are not wanting to be on the ground. See how the, her legs are a little bit up off the ground. Now again, if the ball pops out, it's okay. Don't go chase after it, let it go. Finish the exercise and pretend that you have the ball or put your legs together. Now again, if you don't have a ball, it's okay just to do this exercise without a ball. So Anna will take the ball away first and we'll show what this exercise looks like without the ball. So her legs are together in a parallel position or turned out, your preference. And she's just gonna develop the legs up straight. One, two, three, four, hold it there, five, six, seven, eight, and come down. One, two, three, four, and place it there, six, seven, eight. Now if Anna grabs the ball, we'll show you how to do it with the ball. And then I'll give you a few pointers to remember with it. So, same concept, now we just have the ball. So again, she develops up one, two, three, four, and come hold it there, six, seven, eight, and coming down one, two, three, four, and she holds it there, six, seven, eight. Now, first couple things to remember is that, again, you don't wanna to squeeze too much with the ball in between your legs. You wanna use your inner thigh muscles, but we don't want to be so stiff and tight that our legs don't wanna move on us. Secondly, it's we want to make sure that we're using our hamstring muscles and we're also wanting to make sure that those legs are straight as they're developing up and developing down through this exercise. So really working on those bands that are connecting from our hamstring coming down into our calf muscles. Thirdly, it is a deep core activation exercise. So that means that if you gotta use your core, but we have to stay nice and flat on the ground. That also means that we want the pelvis to stay nice and flat. So as those legs come up, we don't want the pelvis to rotate and tilt. 
and come up with us. So Anna will show what we don't want to have happen. So she develops her legs out straight and they're coming up in one, two, three, four. And now she continues to go a little bit further and see how if she moves her arm for a second, you can see how her pelvis is rotating and tilted there. We don't want that to happen. We want that pelvis to stay nice and flat and the extension is coming from the hip flexors along with our hamstrings. Okay, so that's the first exercise that we'll do and then we'll move into the second exercise where the legs are parallel again. Again, if you don't have a ball, take the ball away and just do this exercise with your legs together. So Anna picks her legs up a little bit, one, two, she comes to a 90 degrees, three, four, hold it there, five, six, seven, eight. She develops her legs up straight, one, two, three, four, hold it there, five, six, seven, eight. Bend it again, 90, one, two, hold it there, three, four, develops it out straight, up five, six, and comes down control, seven, eight. Like you saw, Anna's ball dropped out, which is okay. We're learning through these exercises. So if, again, if the ball drops out and it rolls away, just keep going like you have the ball and go through. If the ball drops here, it's okay to put those legs back together. Again, if you don't have a ball, do these exercises with no ball. We're gonna do the legs straight four times, then we'll move into the 90 degrees with the bent legs and developing up straight four times again. Now, I know that this is a deep core activation and you may feel like, oh my gosh, this isn't working so well or it's really, really hurting. If you just do the straight legs, that's fine. And then stop after the four times, take a break. If you want to move into the bent knee exercise, then you can do that. If you only feel like you can do the straight leg, that's fine too. Whatever you feel like you can do and works for you at this moment, okay? We will start the exercise and this legs are straight, feet are pointed. Again, our palms are up, so we're not pushing against the floor. And we de and de and it develops up one, two, three, four. She holds it there, five, six, seven, eight. Develops it down, one, two, three, four. Holds it, five, six, seven, and eight. Develop up, one, two, three, four. She holds it there, five, six, seven, eight. Develops down, one, two, three, four. Holds it, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, one, two, three, four. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Comes on one, two, three, four, hold it, five, six, seven, and eight, 90 degrees, one, two, or 45, excuse me, three, four, develops it up to a 95, six, seven, eight, back down, one, two, hold, three, four, develops it up, five, six, down, seven, and eight, up, one, two, hold, three, four, and five, six, keep the pelvis flat, seven, eight, and one, two, hold, three, four, develop it up, five, six, two more, seven, and eight, breathe, one, two, hold, three, four, and develop up, five, six, hold, seven, eight, and one, two, hold, three, four, develop up, five, six, down, seven, last one, eight, one, two, hold, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, hold, three, four, develop, five, six, down, seven, and eight. So those are two really hard exercises for your deep core. Anna did a great job. Again, if you get through the 90 degree straight leg one, and you feel tired, take a break. It's okay, you don't have to continue through. Move at your own pace. So for this next exercise, you can see that Anna is sitting facing a wall with her legs in a first position, flat against the wall, in a plie, 
and we're going to work on pressing off of the wall into a saute position. And we're going to be holding the arms in a first as we do that. Now, again, Anna has a ball. If you don't have a ball, perfectly fine. You can just hold those arms in the first and pretending that you have one. Okay, so Anna's gonna show us first how this exercise goes and she, we're gonna hold it. One, two, three, four, and she pushes up five. And the legs go straight, feet are pointed, six, seven, eight. And you can see here, wherever her back is, that she's nice and lifted and nice and straight. So like we've talked about before, we are not wanting to sit back through the pelvis and sinking like she is right there. Everything wants to be lifting out of the lower back, through the spine and opening up all the way through the back, along with the core and those hip flexors and abductor muscles. And then we hold it, two, three, four, and you scoop back into the wall, five, six, and we'll repeat it, seven, eight. Now, when we push off for this exercise here, we want to remember that it's a foot exercise too. So the feet are flat against the floor, and, or the wall, excuse me. And when you push against it, we're rolling through those feet all the way. So you can see Anna's feet right there. They're nice and flat. Now, as she pushes off, she's gonna lift her heel, then she rolls through the armature to the ball and then pushes nice and straight. So she gets all the energy pushing off of her whole foot and not lifting her foot up off the, the wall. So we're going to do this exercise four times, holding the arms in a first position through the whole exercise. So we're prepped, ready, six, seven, eight, and push off, one, two, hold, three, four, and scoop back, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Push off, one, two, hold, three, four, scoop back, five, six, and lift, seven, and eight. Push back, one, two, Hold, three, four, scoop back, five, six, last one, seven, and eight. Push off, one, two, hold, three, four, and scoop back, six, seven, and eight. Then lastly, to remember, when you push back, just like in a saute jump or any jump that we do in petite work, we want to remember that our legs are going nice and straight. So engaging the hamstrings, engaging all the way from behind the knee, leading into the calf muscle, all the way down into the feet. Okay, so this exercise is for the more advanced dancers of probably the junior level on up, not including junior intensives. We are going to be working on the saute exercise. And as you can see, Anna is facing the wall here. Her feet are in a first position with the feet flat against the wall and the arms in a first. Anna has a ball that she's holding on to. If you don't have a ball, that's perfectly fine too. You can just place the arms into a first and hold them there. So this exercise is going to go with pushing off of the wall. One, two, hold it, three, four. The arms are gonna develop up into a fifth on o. Six, seven, hold, eight, flat back, develop up, one, keeping the arms fifth on o. Two, three, four, and develop up, five, six, and scoop back and get ready again, seven and eight. And then we'll push up. So we're going to do this exercise total of four times. A couple things to remember with this exercise. When we push off from the wall, again, we don't want the weight to sink through the pelvis and the pelvis to rotate underneath you and the lower back to drop. We want to be pressing out of the hips and the hip flexors, stretching from that lower back all the way through the spine and opening up. Okay, so we will start this exercise and push off. One, two, three, four. Develop five, six, hold seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven and eight. Push off one, two, hold three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Flat back one, two, three, four. Develop up five, six, come back seven, and eight. And push off one, two, hold three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Flat back one, two, three, Four, develop up five, 
six, last one, seven, and eight. And one, two, hold, three, four, develop up, five, six, seven, and eight. Flat back, one, two, hold that flat back, three, four, develop up, five, six, and seven, and eight. Now, a couple of things to remember with this exercise, last pointers, is when you push off of the wall, we're using our feet and our legs to help at the same time. Just like if we were doing a saute jump center floor or any kind of petite work. So you can see that Anna's feet are flat against the wall and as she rotates or pushes, excuse me, she's working through the whole foot and the legs and stretching through so that it starts from the hamstrings, goes down and then pushes through the feet from the heels to the armature, to the ball, and the toes. And so we'll watch Anna one more time, and she rolls through, pushes all together, so that we have all that activation going on. Lastly to remember is not to be sinking through again, but we are lifting out of the lower back and lifting on that core, and the legs are staying straight. So especially when you do the flat back, we want you to extend from the hamstrings and lower through the legs, keeping the legs nice and straight. So if that only means, so if Anna's up in a fifth here, that only means that you can go a little bit like right there, and then that's fine. If you can go flatter. The moment that your legs start to bend and pull back on you, you've gone too far. And we're lifting up and out of those hips and abductor muscles. Okay, we have an exercise here that's gonna work on of some of our petite work and going through up into a susu and then doing shanjamat work. So as you can see, Anna's laying flat on the ground here. The ball is in between her legs with her legs in a turned out position. Arms are flat, palms are up. Now this exercise is geared for more of an advanced level. So again, if you're a preteen and up, this is an exercise you could do. And juniors, you could probably do this too, or at least try it and see how it goes. So we're gonna develop the, arm, the legs up straight. One, two, three, four, hold it there. Five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna reach for the ball, one, two, and hold your legs, squeeze them. Now the legs are gonna squeeze into a susu with the right foot in front. Arms come back to fifth on 06, seven, and it's gonna bring her arms up a little bit more, not too far back, and hold it there, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do um, Shangjumat, or yes, and go. And a one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hold the susu, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And bring the ball back up, open the legs, keeping the turn out, one, two, three, four, and bring the arms down, and legs down, five, six, hold, seven, eight. So, a couple things with this exercise here is that when we do the shanjumans, we don't want the legs and the knees to bend on you. We want to maintain those nice straight legs. So where should the, it be coming from? From our hip flexors and abductor muscles for that turn out and not trying to do the shanjumans with bent knees, but it's from underneath and holding those legs all the way through like we've talked about in class. So we've done this exercise too. When you reach for the ball, we want to reach, so if Anna would put her legs flat for us and the, pretend that the legs are up nice and straight. When she goes up, she's going to lift from her lower back and develop her whole body up and reach with the arms. So her legs are up here and now watch how she stays nice and flat to reach for the ball. So it's not bringing the shoulders and hunching in to grab. We don't want everything to get tight and stiff. We want everything to lengthen and pull up there. So you see her reaching nice and flat there and having a nice straight upper body, not the hunching in as she goes. Okay. Again, if you don't have a ball at home, this exercise can be done without a ball. So you would just take the ball away. The legs would be in a nice first position. And then you would just, same thing, develop the legs up. One, two, three, four and hold it there, five, six, seven, eight. Pretend that you're reaching for the ball of one, two, three, four. Bring the arms to fifth dano and legs into susu, six, seven, eight. And then you do the rest of the combination and then develop like you're putting the ball back up there and then bring the legs down, okay? We're going to show this exercise two times with the ball going through. And we're in a turned out position, feet are pointed. 
Now remember, lastly with this exercise, is that it's also a deep core activation here, so that we want to not to arch it and then let the rib cage and that lower back arch up off the ground. We want to stay nice and flat with the belly button pressing down. So we're ready, six, seven, eight. Develop up, one, two, three, four. Holding it there, six, seven, eight. Reach for it, one, two, three, four, and hold it, five, six, seven, and eight. Going one, and a two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hold the two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go again, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Develop the ball back up, open the legs, one, two, three, four, breathe, five, six, seven, last time, eight, and up, one, two, three, four, reach for, hold it there, five, six, seven, eight, reach for the ball, two, three, four, and hold it, good, arms and fit, six, seven, eight, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Stretch up, one, two, maintain the turn out in straight legs, three, four, breathing out, six, seven, eight. Good. The last thing to remember about this exercise, if you've talked about all the other exercises and in class, is to remember to breathe with it. So as the legs develop up, taking your deep breath in. As you're up there, taking your deep breath out, okay? We meant to teach the body how to breathe through these exercises. So as we transition into dancing at the bar to center floor or your dance, that muscle memory is there on how to breathe through the movement.